Mm. TikTok coffee. If you haven't tried yet, this is it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kathleen here and I'm back with another video. This time it's gonna be a haul. I'm so excited. I have another haul planned because I have another package I want to show you guys. But these two are way too big. Um, so Forever 21, I don't have that many stuff. Um, but I did add something that I got from Target and I wanted to keep Shein with itself because that was a lot. But I have a Forever 21 haul for you guys. I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. And I know they extended it for another three months. But when we're done with this, I'm excited to be actually like wearing this out. For now, I'll just be wearing it to the grocery store and I don't know. That, that's all I can think of because I don't really see anyone else. I'm going to address the elephant in the room, my nails. We, we're just having a hard time right now. I was supposed to redo them the other day and then I got lazy and then I didn't re like redo them and now they're broken and it's just a mess. But we're fine. We're going to live with it. We're going to do them today so don't come at me for that. But anyways, back to the haul. So the first things I want to address are the accessories. So I'll start off with the ones that I'm wearing. It's just these cute silver ones and they have like this, I don't even like a rouging, I don't know exactly what the term is but it's really cute. They are kind of heavy. For the price, it feels like high quality, so I highly recommend it. It was on sale when I got it, and I love them. These are probably my favorite earrings. I am also the type that likes to mix silver and gold, so I don't have a preference. I mean, technically, I do have a preference. I do like silver a little bit more, but I love how that looks when you have, like, silver and gold and mix the accessories together. That's just what I love. Um, personally, rings, I always get silver. Earrings, I mix it around just depending on, like, my outfit, but I I love these silver hoops. All the accessories that I got were earrings and they're all hoops. They're just different variation of hoops. Lately I've been loving hoops. Before I didn't like hoops very much, um, but I've changed my mind. I'm a new woman with these hoops. I feel very classy. It just pulls the look together. So that's it for the first one. I have another pair of hoops. These are gold. It also has like this swirl to it. Embroidery. I don't really know what to call these, but I love it. It just adds a little bit more oomph to your hoop rather than it being a regular gold hoop. All of these are gold. They came in a set of three. So that was the first one. And then the second one was this one. It's just a tighter swirl. I don't know what the word is, but it, it looks like this. It's just, it looks like a chain. I don't know if you can see that, but I love those. And then the last one has like this ripple ruffle effect to it on the side. Very light and they're thin when you see them like this. The other ones were thicker, but I like these two. These are great. So those are the three um, earrings that came in the set. I'm trying to get more into accessorizing because I honestly just always wear these two necklaces that I got from my boyfriend and then like these rings and then my earrings, my staple earrings. I just always wear those and then I just change the bottom hoop and that's it. And I'm trying to evolve in my in my accessorizing. So that's all that I got for accessories. We'll move on straight to bodysuits. So I got two bodysuits. The first one that I have is this mesh black one. It is really cute and lightweight. It just was not what I was expecting. On the picture online, it had the tube top already underneath it. So in my defense, it seemed as though it was made that way rather than you had to pair it with your own personal tube top or buy one yourself. I, I maybe just didn't even look over the description. It could have just been my fault for not like, you know, really thoroughly looking at what I'm buying, but it just wasn't what I expected. So when I was unboxing, I was like, I did not order this, or that's just not what I was expecting. Luckily, I did have a tube top. I just paired it with this black tube top that you see. It looks way better <laughs> with the black tube top underneath it. The sleeves are just a little bit long, um, but I kind of like that look where it covers your thumbs and I love the material. It's really lightweight. I think it's still good with summer and spring. Um, it's not too heavy and you don't really feel like you have anything on, but it's really nice. The mesh goes all the way to the sleeves. With this, 
bodysuit that's an issue that I have because I am so sure I'm five feet I got a small and it was still big on me so there was just a little extra material but for me it was not too, like that big of a deal and no one even sees that part so it was fine I love this and I think it's great for the summer great for spring it's not too much and it just adds a little bit more fun to your look <laughs> That's it for that one. The next bodysuit that I have is this white bodysuit. It is off the shoulder, short sleeves, and I think the sleeve cut off at like the perfect length. It was not too long. It's shorter than the regular t-shirt length, and I love the buttons at the bottom. It's not too uncomfortable, and I think it fit me really well. I think it fit me actually better than the black bodysuit. It didn't have like extra material at the bottom, so maybe it's because of the material. I'm not too sure, but I love this white bodysuit. It is such a great basic to have. I haven't had bodysuits before, so I've had two great experiences with Forever 21. If you need a bodysuit, a good basic, the material is really thick. I love that. Like, you can't see my bra underneath it. It's really nice. And for the price, it was even more a score. So that's all for my bodysuits. I just got two great essentials to have, and I'm gonna move on to our blouses. So the first blouse that I want to talk to you guys about is this black sheer blouse that I love. It's probably my second favorite shirt, but I love it because you can use it for different settings. So if you are going to work, you can pair it with a blazer, which I show you later on, um, or you can just wear it casually when you're going out with your friends. I love the way it lays on my body, like it's just loose and very airy like I don't know how to explain it but it's awesome and I love how it has the scrunching at the sleeve and the exposed back it just adds a very chic and elegant look and you can always just safety pin safety pin the front if you don't want it to be like you know too exposed your your cleavage uh, that's what I was gonna do and I love the material it's not too heavy and there's actually at the bottom there is the elastic as well so it scrunches to you know accentuate the waist or you could just tuck it into one of your trousers and I think it'd look really good with an all black outfit with some heels. I just paired it with these jeans that I got from Target, which I did want to include in this haul only because I didn't want to make a, se a separate Target haul for just one item, you know? So I'm short, I'm, I'm five feet, and I saw on TikTok that this girl, who's also five feet, highly recommended Target Wild Fable jeans. So this is my first pair. I got the high rise straight ankle. It has this raw cut at the bottom, which I love. It's like a straight leg. Um, I love how it fits. It fit me perfectly at the waist. It fit me perfectly at the legs, because that's always the issue, is my waist never fits, but the legs are really like tight. I don't know, anyone else have that problem? And then I just love how it has the raw cut at the bottom. And I don't actually have a pair of jeans that are this color. So I was really excited about that, and I think it looked really, really nice with that black shirt. And I just wore it with a uh, black pump. Loved it. And then you can also, like I said, use this blouse for a professional setting. I just paired it with a black blazer that I got from Ann Taylor, and I feel like it just elevated it to a more professional setting. So the next blouse that I have is just this spaghetti strap crop top basic tank top. It looks like this. And as you can see, it does have an X at the back. I just love that little detail. It adds just a little flavor to it. And the front, it's just this deep V. It has adjustable straps, which I loved because I'm short and I tend to get stuff that are way too big for me. And then I'd have to just like knot at the top and just adjust it to my liking. So this was a great plus that they have. The way it lays, it ruffles at the bottom, which I love. It's very flowy and airy, great for the summer. I think it's just a great basic to have in your closet. But that's it for that one. And then the next blouse that I want to show you, which is the last one, which is what I'm wearing, is this beautiful beige oversized button up. I love it because it gives me the look of like, you know, when you see girls wear their husbands or their whatever boyfriends office button up and they just wear it as like casual with a belt or something like that it gives me that same vibe just the way that it lays but what's nice about this fabric is it's like really breathable and you can button it all the way if you wanted to I just like to have it a little bit more open and then I just put it on my shoulders like this I folded and cuffed the sleeves 
uh, but you can easily just uncuff them or whatever you want to do with it. I rolled it up and I scrunched it so it just looks more laid back. I love this look. This is my favorite purchase that I got from Forever 21. I think it just looks so effortless but also bougie-ish. I don't know. For me it just felt really elegant. I love the way it laid on my shoulders and it's just such a breathable material. Um, it comes from the resort line so it's great for humidity. It's great for, you know, the summer and I think that it just looks very elevated. So that's the end of the blouses. The last item that I got from Forever 21 is something that is super outside of my comfort zone. If you do not know me, I am very into black, white, neutrals. That is it. That is pretty much my colors with a little bit of red. I just love red. I feel like red is a, a great color for me. But print is just really not in my closet. I don't really like print. It's just not me. But... I am trying to get out of my comfort zone. I'm trying to, you know, elevate my closet a little bit more with prints and patterns. And this one, I felt like it was still within my zone, but still like outside of my zone. I don't really know how to explain it. But anyway, let me just show you. So I got this cheetah leopard cheetah print skirt. It still has the neutrals and it still has the black. So I think I was just like, Okay, this is just a little bit of a reach from my comfort zone, but we're still okay with, you know, what we're wearing, right? So I just paired it with this shirt, this blouse that I'm wearing, and I loved it. I felt like, I don't know, I, I loved how it just added some fun to my outfit. And the material is like this stretchy denim. Um, it reminds me of like jeggings, a little thicker though. And I love how they have these functional buttons you can't see them because they're the same print as the fabric itself, but I love it. And it fit me really nicely. It wasn't too short and it wasn't too long. And I think it's just a great piece to have. Um, first to my skirt pattern collection because all I have is denim skirts and I don't really even wear those either. So we're trying to expand our horizons and expand our closet by adding different accent pieces. And I think this is a great accent, to, accent piece you can dress it up with some heels or you can wear some sneakers with it. I'm going to probably wear them with like my mules or something like that because that's just like the vibe that I get from wearing this cheetah look. I think it's so pretty. I'm starting to like print. Okay, let's let's be real. I'm not starting to like print. I'm just like okay with this leopard because yeah. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my first Forever 21 try on haul, first haul in general, in a while actually, I have had hauls before, but it has been a while, so if you could tell I was having a little bit of trouble, but we tried, we're trying out here, we do have another one coming up soon, it will be a Shein one, so look out for that, but I hope this gave you some inspiration as to what you would like your spring or summer closet to look like, it was so much fun for me to film, and I'm so excited for the next few hauls that I'll be having because you already know quarantine really has me shopping which is not good. I don't usually do this so it's really weird that I've shopped so much. It's dangerous. I think I need to be blocked off of the internet. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post. But other than that, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! All right, that's all for my try-on haul. I don't like it. <sighs> that was rough, honestly. I felt really weird.